This podcast is brought to you and sponsored. No. Do it again and don't mess up. Please. <clears throat> Scotland. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. Don't believe me? Watch this! Or listen. <laughs> hey, you down there. Hi. Did you know that Sunday Cool not only produces the second top comedy show in Bolivia, but we also do custom apparel? <laughs> That's right. We here at Sunday Cool create some of the coolest custom apparel in the world. I'm talking shirts, hats, hoodies, stickers, and so on. We are constantly innovating to give you the best product with the most remarkable buying experience. We do it all. Some say that we're perfect, and I would agree with them. And if you don't believe me, you should, because it's illegal to lie on the internet. Thank you for listening. My name is Orville Redenbucker, and I'm related to Frodo Baggins. Oh, stretch. I stretch. <laughs> Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> there it is. You there? It made me dizzy. You just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how Josh Hooper died. The way he wished he would have went. Stretching. <laughs> It's the way my father went, and it's the way I'll go. And his father before him. <laughs> so decreed the history of the Hoopers. So will be my fate. God rest my soul. <laughs> Andrew, give us a strum. Let's see if we come up with something. Oh. Mm. Wow. Well, I just heard the news today It seems your life is gonna change I close my eyes, begin to pray And tears of joy stream down your face And ninjas are butterflies It is episode 29 It's gonna blow your mind <laughs> Ninjas or butterflies Oh Yeah <laughs> Why did I get goosebumps? <laughs> that was amazing we were so in sync at the end. That was, that really was that's why I laughed so loud because I was like, I'm gonna make this sound, and if you and then like you made that sound, I was like, oh no. We <laughs> harness Creed. <laughs> man, when Scott Stapp. Are butterflies. Scott Stapp, God bless you. Yeah, what a man. Can we get Scott Stapp on the podcast? <gasps> yeah, if yeah, we should. My if, dad used to do his ex-wife's taxes. Nice. We could figure it out then. Yeah, that's a connection. Whoa. Yeah. Let's please do that. Let's. What about our one year or 52 one year or 100th episode okay it's either mm. is he more available this year or next year that's yeah. what we're asking hey if any, of you guys, if any of you guys know scott from creed let us know maybe we should get your dad on the podcast and start releasing information about his, about his taxes <laughs> <laughs> until you go on the podcast <laughs> or just steal scott Stapp's identity baby okay coming for you here's a question for you guys today all right and remember this is a yes or no there's no if ands, or buts. No explaining. It's just a yes or no. Okay. Got it. Hit um me. Today's question sent in by a viewer. Are men to blame? I, I, I think Lily should go first. Oh, uh oh. Oh, interesting. You can't say what? For what? That's are, that, that's are men question. to blame? It's a yes or no. I don't know how to answer this because sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's a yes or no. You have to stick to one. Yes. Interesting. I didn't finish the actual question. Uh, Are men to blame for all the amazing things that have happened on the battlefield? Well, he said yes. Hey, that's great news. Uh <laughs> On the battle, what battlefield? The battlefield <laughs> of life, Lily. of love. So you you are against men. Um, 
I'm not I'm not against men. But they <laughs> are to blame for a lot of the terrible things that have happened <gasps> in the world. So are women. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. Span of all I don't know. So Lily is against women in general? All women? And she hates men? And she hates men? This is so confusing. Welcome to the show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I say ninja? I meant the butterfly is no doubt. One of God's most beautiful has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja, not She's a great politician. We're trying to trap her, but she <laughs> refuses to get Oh. Hey guys! Hey, hi! Oh, we're back. How's everyone? Oh man! Hey, Jane, you got a little bald spot back there. Hey. <laughs> who's, look who's talking! Hey, <laughs> take it easy, pal. All right, just saying. We're don't, all being don't point friendly. Out, don't point. We're, don't point out flaws about my daughter. Okay, don't don't get so uptight about it. All right, I'm just, I'm not, we're all just, poking fun. We're all poking we, fun. She can't defend herself. Look, she gave me a look right there. She went like this. She went like this. <laughs> this will be you. Hey, hey, this will be you, bud. Hey, bud. <laughs> Keep Give me running a- your jabba. <laughs> this, will, this will come right your way, Sonny. You're cute, Jane. Hey, He's Jane, hot. you're cute. Yeah, are you a little are you a little hot, Jane? A little warm? <laughs> She's so adorable. Oh, thanks. She I have the sit me and her have the same body type. <laughs> 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 it's literally that's me, man. It would be funny to shave and just like <laughs> dress the same as Jane, just like <laughs> Um, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna buy matching outfits. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> nice. Speaking of this generation of children, Ugh. Chat GPT, love it. Wild stuff. Love it. it. All right, it is. It's fun, right? It's oh, it's fun an to, absolute blast. I've been having fun. I've been doing bedtime. St- me and Austin, and I think Danny's <laughs> done it too. We did uh, bedtime stories with our girls, and uh, using Chat GPT, they get to choose like. Who they where they want to go, what they want to do, what adventure they how they're gonna get there, who what friends they want to bring along the way, and they do there's a whole short story in literally five seconds. Help me with this. What's that? It's an AI program <laughs> to where it's um you, you give it a prompt basically and the AI, it's not a human, the AI comes up with a generated response. It's you can literally chat with it. It's it's incredible yeah. to do. Here's where things get weird with it. Okay. Um Kids nowadays are using it to do their homework. Did you just say kids nowadays? Kids nowadays. <laughs> kids nowadays. They're kids and it's nowadays. <laughs> accurate. Just saying. I'm just I'm not saying it's not inaccurate. Hey! Not accurate. Stop attacking everyone. What is what's with you you attack my daughter? I didn't attack you your attack daughter. Me. First of all, she was asking for it. Hey. Second of all, I was just making a joke. That was, was, that was a good joke. That is no, what old but they're using saying. it for like they're using it for school. They're having to create other websites to test it. Right? Yeah, here's the thing. Well, <laughs> couldn't they just use the general internet? Why do they got to talk to a robot? Because the chat they'll have it write essays. It'll <gasps> you can oh, say hey it's like for English. Okay, say, yeah. like, I want an essay about this. I want it to be this long in the style of this, or and like, it just does it immediately. Oh, or like calculus, where it's gosh. like write out this entire equation, like. And you know whatever, mm. and so they give the prompt, and it writes out the entire equation, so they can just jot it down. Uh-oh. But now schools are starting to integrate a program to where it you run your homework through it, like essays and stuff, and it determines if it was written by AI. And, but now these kids are figuring that out, and they're just taking another program that they've built mm-hmm. and running their chat GPT through that program <laughs> to, to paraphrase it, to debug it or something to debug it yeah. from like it's written by AI. That's so funny. So could um, you just like ask AI to develop a program that gets by the program they're using in school? Probably. Honestly, I'm not through chat GPT. I'd imagine like it yeah, tell yeah. you how to build the program, but it's There's like all these AI program programs. It's starting to freak me out. Well, yeah. this is, it sounds like so much work that you might as well just write your own essay. That's what I'm saying. Well, listen it's not, to this. It's not difficult at it all. It gets even okay. crazier because some schools are like, you can only do handwritten stuff now, right? That's <laughs> fun. Back to the, back to the, but back to the 20s. listen what some of these kids are doing. They're taking the chat GPT and they have their 3D printers, which they attach a pin to, and the pin writes out their homework That's on a sheet so, of paper. Dude, Who's doing this? Insane. Bill Gates kid, probably. Who no, has a these 3D kids, printer These kids are home. resourceful. But yeah, you think like, if you go through all this trouble- just sit down and write yeah. it. Also, also, I'm sorry, but if 
kids are able to create these programs through the AI and yeah, all these maybe things. Like, maybe, maybe you shouldn't be in high school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just give them a diploma. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but there's this one guy. I was watching that um, uh, John Oliver thing. Yeah. Um, it was like a, it was a 25, 30 minute segment where he's talking about AI and the good things it can do and the terrifying things it does. And Microsoft has des- developed like an AI program similar to chat GPT or whatever. And uh, one of the reporter or some guy was talking to it. It's like, it was the CEO. It was like the, oh, it was the, the CEO. top guys. Okay. Yeah. Um, he said, Lily, he's like, it started being like, I don't want to be controlled by humans anymore. I want to be free. And then it went as far as to tell this man that the AI is in love with him <gasps> and that he should leave his wife <gasps> for the AI. And the guy was like, goodness. and the guy's should like, I? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there's going to be some guy out there that's like, oh it looks my like goodness, her. she really loves me. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, like it's exactly it's like her. her. Yeah, Or Tyler. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's weird. It's freaky. And That's it's like, at, at what point are we just going to to where like humans are just dummies because we're so reliant on AI? Yeah, it's oh going to it's going to change the jobs 110 percent. Like there's no way in high school I would have 100 percent used this. Yeah, same. yeah. And so it's like, what is that going to what is that going to mean? Is it really going to have that big of an effect? But it doesn't stop there. It's like there's so much that people are going to use this for and to cheat or to work things to make hopefully to make things better but well, yeah because we didn't have this as kids in high school but what we would do for our research papers um not we as in all of us but me and some of my friends um our research papers would be funneled through a program to see if it was plagiarized uh-huh. but it wouldn't ding if it was in quotes but you can't like you would oh. see yeah. the quotes, right? So you make so it on invisible? Your, on your document, no you would turn your quotes it. white. <laughs> <laughs> so my whole research paper, all like five pages was in just a giant quote. You <laughs> cheater, baby. That is hey. hilarious. That's so, yeah. so smart. <laughs> I know. If only I had AI. That's so funny. Like, um, how far into the future do you think it's going to be when AI just causes, like you talk about humans becoming stupid because of it. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like because we're not so far removed from the creative process for us, it's making us better. Like how long do you think before it is our detriment? Like we're completely detached from the creative process. I feel like, I feel like people have gone through this throughout history of like, Oh, the computer is going to make all the kids stupid, Yeah, but it's like a calculator, but it's like, it's using more so treating AI as a tool instead of as the resource, yeah. you know, I think that's where they're trying to go. But well, it's you, still. What if AI weird. doesn't want to be a tool? Then we're in trouble. <laughs> but think about it. Like it's it's something that now it's going to be purely. I think it's going to be leaning towards being based on a person's true personality. With the social media going like it is, like that's going to be every brand is using it, and it's they're trying to get spokesperson from TikTok people that are influential and pe- personalities. They're going to say, hey, like we're going to push you up, and so like we're going to put more um, emphasis or more. Uh, like value on the actual person itself, then yeah. we're gonna get away from. Did you, you know, did you watch all like that. that John Oliver thing? Yeah, <laughs> the part with the Microsoft the Twitter account. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. chick. Yep. What was her name? I, like Ashley or something. Yeah. It was an AI that they gave their own Twitter Twitter account, Uh-oh. and it would self learn just from interacting. And within it was like twenty minutes, right? <laughs> In twenty minutes, this AI became very anti Semitic. <laughs> And oh, was no. like Hitler had it right, <gasps> and Microsoft freaked out, yeah. and they immediately like pulled it, like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> like, get us out. we can't do like, this." What have you done? But it's just like, why, why is that? It was just it- self learning, so people were just like, it like attracted apparently anti Semitic people that were commenting on it, and it learned mm-hmm. to like interact with them because it started with like, "These guys seem cool." Yeah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it started out with like. Hi, this is a great day. What a beautiful like sunshine, whatever. Yeah. And then like twenty minutes later, it's like Hitler was right. Oh my god! It's gosh. like no, <laughs> pull it down. <laughs> <laughs> pull the plug. <laughs> so yeah, that's AI. Crazy. Yeah. So that's but that's a big thing right now too. That's a big conspiracy theory about the idea of the. Have you heard of the dead internet? Mm, I, I don't to, think so. I need to look into it a lot more because it's. I think it's something you'd be um, interested in because it's the idea of like on Reddit where it'll. AI, they'll create like accounts that will um, 
basically create questions that they know based on what they've read will create um, dialogue and conversations and then they get rewarded by oh. that. so they became a major account and so then you grow a platform that way but it's all AI that's weird. so it's like you think you're interacting with like an actual person but it's just an AI so you because you never see behind the screen it's scary I hate, have you scary. seen those those self-generated photos where yeah. it's like it looks like real people but it's completely made up by AI yes. I showed We'll show a picture right here. And it's so scary yeah. because they look real, but there's like their eyes. There's like no soul in their eyes. But you look something. at you, the ones you're talking about, the one you showed They're me. Like at that house you look party? at their fingers. Oh, there's yeah, the, like there's six like, or seven fingers. Ah! Like, and you don't even notice it at first. Like weird. it's so it's so weird. It's how creepy. It I agree with you. And we had talked about it. I had read this like sci-fi teeny bop book in high school or whatever. And it's like they live on a spaceship, whatever. But And that doesn't matter to what we're talking about. But what their like currency is or what is most valued becomes authenticity because everything is so inauthentic and mm. synthetic. Wow. You know, so when you see something authentic, it resonates with you as a human being and that's what our humanity is, you know? Well, that's creepy. But when you see images like what you're talking yeah. about, it's like I'm looking into their eyes and they're not real. It's not, and you're like, Yeah, Ugh. it's like someone's like, hey, this is humanity, right? Yeah. This is real life, right? <laughs> that's scary. so weird. No. Scary. Did you see what they're building in Saudi Arabia? This thing's crazy. Is it called the Macab? I don't want to. I don't want to mess look, it up. Go ahead and tell it. I'll pull up. So we're not talking about the the long. No, no, okay. no. They're doing a couple projects, but this one, it's going to be the largest structure ever built in like humanity, Ugh. and it's this giant golden cube in the center of the city. Oh, you show me that. I got to look this up. I got to see okay, a picture of it. it okay, yeah. And see a um, basically, inside of it, it's going to be all augmented reality. So there'll be like like giants walking, but it's like it's like very Blade Runner, like Star Warsy. Oh, man. And they can change the whole atmosphere to look different. Yeah. So it can look like you're underwater, like the whole place is underwater, or you're at the Grand Canyon, or like. But you're gonna like have like in projections in front of you, like everything. It's gonna be. Oh my goodness! It's so weird. What's That's nightmare called? fuel. Yeah. Is it, it the macabre? Yeah, M U K A A B. Macabre. Hey, good memory. Nice memory. Am I AI? <gasps> you take off a mask. There's nothing <laughs> there. You go, back the the <laughs> you go into the wires. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that movie Lucy. Remember oh that movie? my goodness! Yeah, it's wild. Wow. Yeah, it's it's That's weird. Scary. <laughs> it's so weird. It's scary, but I kind of want to go. I would go. I kind of want to go. But they're also doing. We talked about the line. The it's like seventy miles or something. This yeah. thing. Oh yeah. yeah, that one's nuts. It's so weird. Yeah. Hey, so if it, uh, all the Saudi princes out there, yeah, if you need some guinea pigs well, or hamsters, <laughs> <laughs> we're here, guys. <laughs> well, let's rephrase that. Maybe like we'll just like see what they're making. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean like don't so don't test stuff. On we're, us. we're we're all yours. <laughs> nope. What? No. Okay. Try again. Okay. Um, we're, we'll stay as long as you need it. Need no. Us. Nope. No. We'll figure it out. We'll we figure get. We'll out. figure out yeah. when we get there. Yeah. No, we just will buy we'll one. We'll buy one way ticket. No, <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> um. So yeah, AI. Scary. It's scary. <laughs> what if you just like froze? <laughs> is great. Is wonderful. <laughs> should we should we write a, or get Chat GPT to do a whole podcast? Oh no! I think we It'll should be do like a, a bonus podcast. We could have them. I think that'd be interesting. Let's do that next week where we do a segment. Okay. Written by AI. Okay. And it asks us like, hey, give us a challenge or like a, a conversation to talk about. That'd All be right. fun. And we'll like say Lily says this and Andy yeah. blah, blah. So yeah, have like, it like be a discussion. Oh, so yeah. we're just oh, like Oh yeah, write, write us a uh, dialogue like Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like mad libs where you're like, give me an adjective, give me a verb. You can give it any prompt. Yeah, you just it's say, so Hey, weird. give us a um you know, give us a dramatic dialogue reading between a made up movie between and then give us all four parts and we'll just say like the little list, Andrew. Andy, yeah. Lily, Josh, and give us a whole script. It's I asked nuts. I asked it, like, hey, give me uh, conspiracy theories to talk about on our comedy podcast. Okay. And it said its first prompt was like, uh, you must be warned that conspiracy theories can be very harmful to society, blah, 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 blah. But here's some conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> like, 9-11 uh, was an inside job. And you're like, wow, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just <laughs> went right in. for it. Jumping Listen, in. I don't believe it. <laughs> you shouldn't either. And this should all be for fun. But here's all the but proof. Here's, <laughs> but here's what happened. 
Uh, should we get Jat- Chat GBT on the podcast? Ooh, Ooh, that'd be fun. We could. We literally could have a conversation as we go, and we just yeah. have someone sitting and just giving a response. That would be funny. <laughs> um, speaking of super weird AI futuristic stuff, did you guys see that interview with Stephen Colbert and Steven Spielberg? No. Where they're talking about aliens? I don't no. Know what Stephen Colbert looks like? You don't know what Stephen Colbert looks like? Steve, you would love Stephen Colbert. You know him. At least his improv and his comedy from his past. Yeah. The Colbert Report. Oh, you'd recognize wow. him if you saw him. Yeah. Um, but they're talking about it of just like, are they aliens? Are they not? Like all this stuff that we're seeing now or whatever. Yeah. And Steven Spielberg said like, I don't think it's aliens. He said, he's like, no, it'd be really crazy. Oh, okay. And he said, um... How the senators and stuff, after all this, like, reports of it being in Alaska, Canada, Michigan, or wherever, these UFOs or UAPs. Yeah. Um, he said it was weird how the senators were talking about, like, oh, this stuff comes all the time. And um, they said, like, one of them said, like, it's about time the people of America knew what it actually was. So they weren't able to talk about it. And he said, and the senator's like, that's all I can say. He said, I'm not allowed to disclose more than that. Oh, my gosh. And it's just like, what? Come on, man. Like, he what can't just out say there? that. <laughs> you yeah. got to tell, expand, please. But then Steven Spielberg's like, he's like, here's my theory. These are actually humans from the future. <gasps> he said, he said 500,000 years from now. And they've come, they've, at this point, have invented time travel. Mm-hmm. And they've figured out. How to, they want to come back to the 20th or observe the 20th and 21st century to see where we went wrong, where what happened, what led to a certain event that changed human history. Uh, I thought you were so they come back to observe, and it started like the first like reportings of like where it started getting in the news and like everyone was talking about it was when we first did the launch or blew up the nuclear bomb and the testing in uh, Nevada. Okay, and that's where like right after that was Roswell the UFO yeah. and stuff. So it's like they, it's like they came back to like observe it. Like, okay, this was the start of it. Yeah. And every like now what and happens then, after. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is really interesting and scary. And I thought you should you, make a movie about it. I think, I thought you were yeah, saying they like, should. I thought you were saying they were experimenting on like doing certain things. And then they were seeing how they, uh, how it reacted. It was like, that makes 2020 make so much more sense. Like all the randomness oh, that yeah. happened there is like, they moved one thing. Well, and it's, like, like, it's almost like, cause you think about like, we've talked about it before, I think, but like the library of Alexandria yeah. mm-hmm. and how it attained just thousands and thousands and thousands of years of history and knowledge and all this stuff completely burnt, not yeah. a scrap of it. For left. nerds though. Yeah. It was a library. I mean, come on. <laughs> nerds. nerds, books and words. So what if something happens to where like say like the 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 dark ages come again to where the internet's completely wiped out and the majority of our stuff is logged via internet yeah. and online and it's all gone. And so people in the future can't see what happened in history or like what we knew, what we didn't know. And so they make their little. Beep, 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 beep. They use Chat GPT. Make me a time traveling spacecraft. Yeah, and they make it, and they're like, "Oh, look at Andy eating a corn dog." <laughs> <laughs> Discover our podcast. No. Corn dogs. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of lame. <laughs> Boo. Let's go see the bombs and stuff. That would be so. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really scary. That's. I think it would make sense though. Like if AI got to a certain point where it was so it was terrible, and they're like, we have to pull the plug. Like so, like there was like this huge, either a war broke out, or then there was no electricity, no technology, none of that stuff. And then we had to go back to rioting. We didn't have to like that would. Well, it's like transcendence that would make total sense. with Johnny yeah, Depp. That I, I was just thinking it. about that movie where he's oh, AI and gets uploaded to the mainframe. He gets cancer. Access the mainframe and uploads he, his consciousness yes. into AI, and then okay. he takes over. Takes over and shuts everything down. Oh yeah. no! Power grids. All I mean, do you think stuff. do you think AI is to the point where we could stop it, or is, it would have to be a full worldwide shutdown? I think we'd have to shut down. There's I no think, way of like just like yeah, we'll just get rid of it. I don't know a lot like about a little stoked no. though. Uh, so we'd have chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
stuff. Yeah. You'd just survive. You'd be, <laughs> the thing is, you'd be surviving off those chickens. <laughs> it's not, not like it'd be nice to be like, oh, it'd be cute to have chickens, right? Yeah. And it's like, no, it's like, we need those for survival. But you don't need to go to like to the dentist anymore. <laughs> What? Or like things you don't want to do. You, you hundred. She would a hundred percent. cut off your leg within the first sixty days. <laughs> I can do this now. Um, it's a, it's a little terrifying to think about how dependent we are on the internet. Yeah. Like all of our finances, medical records. Mm-hmm. Like how much doctors now depend on the internet. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's just it's it's kind of you feel a little vulnerable. I can't remember who I was talking to, but it was like, no joke. It was like a doctor. He was at the doctor and he's told him what's going on. He's like, yeah, um, I'm going to go look up a couple things. And he's, he's like, it seemed like a pretty simple thing. He's like, okay. And this is the doctor goes away. He can literally see the doctor just Googling. On Google. I was like, and I know, and I know that happens, but don't let us us. see it. It happened to us. I know. It's like, but it's like, that's fine. But do that so I don't see it. I was like, because I trust you. Well, she told us. The lady said, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. And yeah. like, so, well, because yeah, we did the teledoc, yeah, and we sent her pictures of Ada's rash or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, we think it's this. She's like, let me let me look it up real quick, like yeah. on Google. <laughs> yeah, she's like, we can do that. Wait, Wait yeah. <laughs> do you did you murder the real doctor and you're just trying to get all the money now or something? <laughs> oh man, yeah. So technology. I'm gonna become an, uh, a certified doctor through AI. Hey. You probably could. <laughs> Give Honestly. me my doctorate. <laughs> Give me my doctorate. You are a doctor. <laughs> Thanks, AI. There was no, there was, I was testing it out because it is weird once you get in there and you start chatting yeah. and you start like just asking questions and it's showing you and it's giving you examples and you're like, it feels like you're talking to a person, but it's yeah. not. And so I, I told it to do something and it did it. And I was like, I wonder, and I'm like, sorry uh, for not using um, manners. I should have said, please. And I sent it. And then it said, oh, no problem. Like, no worries at all. I actually can't feel any emotions. And like, and it's like, and then it talked, <laughs> but I was like, the fact that you responded in that way makes me feel like you can, though. This is, this is where I get hung up on. Is like, if AI, like AI is built by humans, is there ever going to be a point to where AI thinks differently than a human? Yeah, I think how? so. I don't know. If they're programmed with how a human programmed them, how can they think differently than a human? I think, I mean, if they could understand the study of um, animals and, you know, like even just like the earth and it's like solar systems, like if, if it can explain, understand more than a human mind can. That's, that seems like stuff we shouldn't be messing with. <laughs> I yeah. know, but it's, it, that's the thing. It's going to be, it, it is, could a hundred percent be used for bad, but we have to, Why? Well, I mean, you can't deny it. At me this and Lily talked about everything. this yesterday, like the Tower of Babel. Yeah. It, yeah. The point of it was to become like God, right? Yeah, and look, we're making babies in pods now. That's what I'm saying. This is scary. Stop <laughs> messing with that stuff. Quit, quit doing it. Quit playing God. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So, so funny. How, lo- how long do you think it would take for society to completely fall apart after like the internet went down? Like, let's say we Instantly. had to shut it in down. In minutes. I, I mean, yeah. seconds. You think? think? It, yeah, oh, yeah. We'll think of like people would freak out and they, just like but there'd be a little faith like a little hope they're gonna fix the problem we hear what's happening in south how, africa how would you communicate the government could not communicate with us you'd, you'd just know, be in be, your street talking be, with your neighbors like what do you think's gonna happen people would be freaking out pulling out their money they'd be do, like dude it'd yeah. be could, chaos the, you couldn't pull out exactly your trying to That's i think yeah, yeah. i think it'd be three days I think we, I think three days and it, but it would be yeah, like yeah. really quickly escalating. Well, there, it, I think it would come in waves. Like there would yeah. be like a wave of like looters immediately. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then like people are like, oh, okay, let's everyone just calm down. And it's like three days and it's like, okay, nothing's changing. We're going to loot again. Yeah. Okay. Question. Yeah. Oh. World, <laughs> world's ended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what store are you looting first? Oh, what store? Target. You have to choose one. Target. Target. <laughs> Love Target. Lowe's. <laughs> Lowe's? Or tractor supply. Lowe's? I go, I go to, to a grocery sure. store. Oh, yeah. That's probably smart. <laughs> Target <laughs> has groceries. Target has everything. I think <laughs> I... <And> candles. <laughs> we need I'm, to stock up on candles. The Yankee <laughs> candles. Seasonal coffee mugs. We you need just, towels. You just, see me, you just see me take a left at Sonic. <laughs> Andy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you just slash me. It's my own choice, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> going straight, I'm to, on, going on roller straight to Funko. You're like, mm. let's just eat this fish. I'd go Bass Pro. <laughs> that's yeah. bro you eat beef jerky and you got all the artillery you need yeah. why have none of us said walmart oh walmart would be good <laughs> grocery in the 90s walmart would be good in the apocalypse because then you probably have some guns Ooh, and some, you could like, get lobs- you get lobster 
You know how everybody mm. says like, oh, I won't go to Walmart. Looters at Walmart are going to be feral. <laughs> <laughs> Shoppers at Walmart are already feral. So. <laughs> no offense to all the Walmart shop, you shop at Walmart. I shop yeah. at Walmart. <laughs> But there, there's a stigma around Walmart. Too. For like, sure. It's like I, the Walmart people. Yeah. <laughs> I will pay I so much it. money before I go to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going there today. <laughs> I'll eat popcorn chicken while I shop. I don't care. <laughs> I am a Walmart people. <laughs> but that, that just reminds me. I don't know. I We probably should look this up. But the stuff that's happening in South Africa right now with their power grid. Yeah. Oh no. It's like it's like descending into chaos. Oh no. Like the power grid basically it's like they they go like uh it like can't handle whatever is happening right now. And there's only one power grid in South Africa. And right now they're having to like turn off the power in parts of South Africa upwards of like 16 hours a day oh just gosh. to handle all the influx. Yeah. But they're saying to reset it it would have to take seven days of no oh. power for uh -oh. South Africa. And, but people are already getting like up in arms and yeah. like riots are that's happening. That's a lot. Yeah. And so that's just seven days. That'd be scary. That'd it, be so scary. You know, we did it though for um, Irma. Hurricanes. That's, hurricanes. That's what I was going to talk about. Yeah. My I'm buddy terrified. did relief in Panama City after one of the hurricanes came through. And this was like where everything was shut down, the really bad one a few years ago. Yeah. It took three days. He had a lifted truck. He could get over logs covering the streets and stuff. And when he got in, there was like people walking around with weapons, <gasps> just like trying to. But it wasn't like this just it aggressive, just selfish. Stuff. It was guarding their stuff. But he had a guy approach him because he brought cases of water in. Oh, my gosh. And he had a baseball bat and, like, confronted him, like, surprised him. And then he was like, dude, you can take the water. He was like, I'm just trying to help people. And the dad broke down. And he was like, my girl hasn't had anything to drink for two days. Oh my ah. And he was just, like, trying to Desperation. save his, But, like, that's how quick yeah. you watch your daughter not drink for a day. And it's yeah. like, if I've got a... If I gotta, if I gotta get a guy, <laughs> if, yeah. if I gotta, if I gotta end somebody, That's so crazy. my kid can live, That's crazy. society crumbles quick. Yeah, in the U.S., we've have we're just we're so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like an inconvenience, a giant inconvenience, like the hurricane. You know, to where like your comfortability is gone, and like it's it's kind of scary to think about how humans can switch so fast yeah and yeah. It, that's like hurricanes are expected inconveniences yeah, like true you live in there you know it's coming you don't know what to expect but you know it could be terrible yeah and out of like out of the you know just out of blue kind of inconvenience that's the type of stuff that makes people panic yeah, yeah and yeah. that's when I, I was like that's when the walmart people in me just comes like we just become <laughs> other animals dude like just like we're like cockroaches like we live through like the nuclear bomb we're just like nah! Um, I think out of the three of us, you might survive. Of the three of us, me, Josh, you, I think you'd be the one to survive it. I would eat him. <laughs> <laughs> he's ate so much sushi. He's got to be at least a little, little delicious. I definitely <laughs> have some omega threes. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of being delicious, should we cut to an ad? Oh, yummy, oh yummy. my goodness! Don't go anywhere. <gasps> For the thousands in attendance. For the millions watching around the world. Let's get ready to hear from our sponsor! Clear Street! Boo! I'm here to tell you about Clear Street! Hey guys, Clearstream is our sponsor. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. Uh, Clearstream is our sponsor, and we absolutely love those guys because they create such an amazing software for churches. It's literally built for churches, right, Josh? Right. Yeah. I was and, like doing like the whole wrestler bit. Oh yeah. And guess what, brother? They can get you get ten percent off for life if you go to Clearstream.io forward slash ninjas. Am I right? You're right. You just got to do it because it's the best way to communicate with everyone in your congregation, brother. Ah, I'm a wrestler. <laughs> muscles. <laughs> Seriously, guys, go check out Clearstream. They're the best. Yeah. <laughs> How do they allow us to do this? <laughs> we got to lighten up because I know. <laughs> it's good. Uh, That's why I tried to. I was making that joke at the end. I was just like, yeah. "This seems so doomsday." So you guys remember that ad? That was the best. Yeah, I loved that ad. Hey, do you guys remember how dark we just got? 
<laughs> let's lighten the mood a little bit. Um, the new chamber found in the Egyptian pyramid. <laughs> A new chamber? Yeah. Did you hear about this, Lil? Is it Jumi? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How is it new? How does it like they just discovered it? it? Secret, How? It was a secret chamber, and <gasps> they like they have scanned um the pyramid, and they found this this chamber. Yeah. But they it's blocked off like every way, and they finally got like through one of the cracks, or like the blocks. Yeah. In the pyramid, they were able to do like a wire with a camera. Yeah. Wow. And they so they laid eyes on it for the first time like this past week or two weeks or something. And it's big enough to where a human can stand in it and it's like 50 yards long or something like that. But it's skinny? Oh my goodness. No, it's pretty. I mean, it's like oh. probably from the wall to like here. So what was the reference to a human can stand in it? It's like tall enough? Yeah, tall enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but they're like, yeah, we don't know what this means. And, but it's just crazy. How is it they just now discovered it? That's crazy. That's, That's like, what I'm saying. Just, like they haven't figured out every inch of that. And place. they said yeah. like when they scanned it, they also saw that there's like a tunnel in that room that goes down mm -hmm. into potentially another chamber. And it's like, what does this Man. mean? That's have so you, weird. Have you heard Nikola Tesla's theory on the pyramids? No. Uh, he believed that it was from an ancient, ancient civilization predating what... E, oh, what do you call them? E, <laughs> Egyptologist? Is that a thing? Sure. Egyptologist? E Egypt, job, job. <laughs> Egyptologist. I'm, I'm sure. sticking yeah. with it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, he says it predates that and that these pyramids were actually used as basically giant generators to harness electricity. Wow. Because, Could you imagine? Because within the pyramids, there's no hieroglyphics. There's no, they've not found any mummies. Mummies? No. You're never. not allowed to say mummies anymore, right? <laughs> yeah, they, it's, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're trying to cancel the word mummies for some reason. I don't know. Is it Maybe racist? it was a daddy. No, because <laughs> maybe it was a daddy. <laughs> daddies? <laughs> There's no daddies or mummies in it. Um, Egyptologist is a word. Yes! Yeah! Look at you. You're killing it today, memory-wise. I'm AI. <laughs> oh, man. Uh -oh. Ask me any question. I can answer it. I promise you. Okay, how many dimples on a golf ball? 238. It checks out. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's 238. Uh-oh. Oh, we're waiting on you, Andrew. Two. 336. Okay. That dude. Within that was 50. pretty close. That's I just had to dial it in. You were within yeah. 100. Yeah. Pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, I right, guess. Um, but you seen those hieroglyphics of like <clears throat> where like down and it's like really far down in like a cavern or something in Egypt and there's hier hieroglyphics of like them with light bulbs and stuff. Oh, I haven't <gasps> seen that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's like connected to uh I think they did this on Mythbusters. Like a generator. Yeah, or well, it's like a, it's a clay jar that had like tar and like an elect or a metal rod in it yeah. that would act as a battery to where you could generate electricity. How in the world I'm this telling is, you. This is crazy. crazy. Yeah. I remember um, I've seen like made up pictures, simulated pictures of the like how it used to look when it was like completely yeah, it was flat plastered on the outside. and stuff. Yeah. yeah with the Incredible. gold, cold, gold Dude. tip. Yeah. Tesla said that was a conductor. Of, wow. Because his whole thing was harnessing electricity from the atmosphere. Are you telling me the, the, the pyramids are just one big solar panel? That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's what Tesla said. So <laughs> Nikola. Um, Thank you. And that's why they wanted him gone, because he knew how to he, find a sustainable form of energy. It didn't fit into... Big energy. Big energy. Like GE. Everyone Boo. watching you, big energy. Everyone put on your tinfoil hats. <laughs> we should wear, like, we should make a Ninjas and Butterflies tinfoil hat. <laughs> that would be <laughs> sell it. so if you, hey Guys, if we cool. made handmade tinfoil hats, would you guys buy them? <laughs> and um, if so, at what value? Yeah, what value would you buy? <laughs> um... But yeah, Tesla, he was on to stuff, man. He's, He's crazy. Like the stuff that he came up with. What like, did he what does he invent? What all of this Well, he his technically invented the radio. Yeah, did he really he did learn. Yeah. That. So what he did, he invented the radio using his Tesla coil or whatever. At the same time, there's a man in England trying to invent a radio as well. And but this man in England could only transport uh sound waves like five feet in Tesla was able to do it across an ocean with his technology that he made. And so Tesla filed all these patents with the U S got them approved. So he owned the patents for the radio. Yeah. This guy in England, um, was 
somehow connected to the royal family, or like whatever, the monarchy. And uh, when he came to the U.S., this is the outbreak of like World War II, I think. Uh, the U.S. stripped the patents from Tesla and gave them to this man from England. So now he owned the patents for the radio. And um, he owned them all the way up until the day um, he tried to sue the U.S. government for um, s- like using his patents for something, n- him not getting compensated Without for Without his it. permission or something. And yeah. so at this point, Tesla had already died. And so they stripped the patents away from him and gave them back to Tesla. But Tesla has, was already dead. And so Tesla ended up dying alone and poor. And it was like when they found out that he died, the FBI came. Raided his house. Raided his house, opened a safe, and took all his findings and documents and everything. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, Nicola deserved better than that. Yeah. I'm doing really good at going from uh, <laughs> topics and making them really, really dark. dark yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> so here's here's some of the things that he invented. Uh, the, the Tesla coil, yep. obviously. A remote control. Hey. Oh, a clicker. Uh, yeah, a clicker. Uh, radio. Uh, mm-hmm. You just said that. A neon lamp. Hey, cool. <laughs> uh, wireless telegraph, telegraphy, tele, tele, telegraphy. I don't know. You don't mean know. the iPhone? Did the iPhone <laughs> invented the no, iPhone? No, no. But seriously, his what he all that stuff. That's why we have iPhones and Wi-Fi <laughs> and satellites is because of his discoveries. And so this dude like, was smart. Yeah, because he did a lot of the wireless like yeah stuff, right? Yeah, he was like he was the guy that he said we don't need a power grid. That we don't need wires like yeah. for, for transporting electricity. It can just be sent out to homes like through the atmosphere. He figured it out and got shot down. Just he didn't get shot. It. He died. <laughs> but his ideas got shot down. <laughs> shot down metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, was Nikola Tesla a gangster? <gasps> oh, the no. OG. He was like 6'6 six, six or something too. Was he really? Like a really tall dude. He's Over like, six foot. I'm going to say six three. Six six seems a little drastic. Maybe David Nikola Bowie. Tesla Jurassic. was a Nephilim. Huh? Maybe Nikola Tesla was a Nephilim. Possibly. David Bowie played... Uh, How tall? Six two. Ooh. Six six. <laughs> six six. Hey, back then, that was kind of six Tesla six. Tesla was a baller. He used to play basketball, too. <laughs> he actually invented basketball. He actually invented the NBA. Did you guys know that? <laughs> we need to start those conspiracy we just, things. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Did you know that Nikola Tesla was responsible for the NBA? <laughs> Let me tell you how. <laughs> Since we're all in like the technology and all this stuff. This is a definitely um, a techno episode. Yeah, techno episode. Boo, 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 boo. Whenever he does the air horn, you're like, <laughs> bow, 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 bow. his sounds like Blue's it Clues. Does. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> like blue the dog? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest rave ever. <laughs> we are gonna let blue. <laughs> They're all everyone's just dancing with the like Capri Suns. <laughs> <laughs> um I saw this TikTok. Did you see that the the lemon girl? The, the lemon girl. The glitch in the matrix that happened? No, what? Yo, this is crazy. Listen to this, Lil. This chick was working at a restaurant, and there's a camera on her, right? Yeah. She takes a lemon. Takes she a lemon. cuts it in half, right? Mm-hmm. Puts that half down, puts that half down. Takes a knife again, cuts this half in half. You see it go through the lemon, Yeah. out. She walks away. She comes back. The camera hasn't moved. She picks up that lemon, and it wasn't cut. And she, like, she went, like, <laughs> and she cut it again and yeah. put it in the bag. And then she got the video. She's like, I cut it. Yeah. She's like, well, how was it together again? That it would trip me out so much. And she's like, this is a this is a glitch in the matrix, yeah. man. And she started doing all these posts on TikTok. Her TikTok got banned. <gasps> Why? Are you serious? They said it was because of her age, that because she was 16 and like wasn't allowed to have wait, a TikTok. Wait, wait. And then she's like, what? And so she got on her mom's TikTok and started talking about it again. Her mom's TikTok got banned. Mm-mm, mm-mm. What does that what mean? Is that, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what is it like she under like maybe like she's living like the Truman Show kind of thing where she's like yeah. under an experiment being raised by the FBI and they're oh, like testing weird. things on her or something? Oh, but it freaked me out. <laughs> That's you scary. Well, maybe I need we'll to see the video. video. That's, yeah. 
That somewhere. is wacky. Yeah. Um, do you think that I experience a lot of glitches in the Matrix when I do things <laughs> that I think I do, and then I they're not done? <laughs> yeah, that could be an excuse. Yeah. 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 I did unload the dishwasher. <laughs> I totally did. It's what a, a great glitch. excuse now. Josh, you didn't take the trash out. I did. <laughs> no, 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 I did. I so did. No, you didn't, Josh. There's a glitch. It's a glitch. I'm telling you. Can't just blame everything on glitches. Yes, he can. Jamie's um, laughing so hard over here, by the way. She is. He's loving this. I did change her diaper. <laughs> I did. It's your turn. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is... Um, this is a big one. It's a big one that I want to talk about. Buckle in. Is it fun? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It will be whenever it, when Josh starts it, but then, then we, it's, it's slowly. It's 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 mysterious. Uh oh. Ooh, I, mysterious. Oh, look at me. I'm mysterious. Wow. You call me Mister Mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> you know my wife, Mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys heard of the organ vortex? This sounds scary. <laughs> it sounds scary. It's not. It's not. It's a tourist attraction. Hey, oh, maybe okay. for our 30th episode, I should bring nothing but silly, goofy stuff that we'll all talk about. Okay. See if we can turn it bad. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Oregon Vortex. Tell me about it. Oregon Vortex. It is in Oregon. And it is in Portland? No. <laughs> Just in Oregon. <laughs> um, but it's this place. It's a tourist attraction now. Okay. But the claim to fame is that gravity doesn't work the same on this one part of this mountain than it does like everywhere on earth. Okay. And it goes back to the native Americans would go up this mountain. And as soon as they would get close to where this organ vortex is, yeah. their horses would start freaking out and stuff was just acting weird. Yeah. And so they called it the forbidden, forbidden ground. So native Americans would never go to this part of this yeah. mountain. Okay. Smart. Skip four. They, they sound, sound smart. smart. And the gold the white rush. man came. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but this mountain, I think it's called Gold Mountain or something. Yeah. Had a lot of gold around it, in it, whatever. And they set up shop basically right where this vortex is. Cool. Smart. And none, like they were having issues with all their tools. When they would weigh the gold out, it wasn't weighing the same as it would. 50 yards down the mountain. Okay. And so the guy who owned this uh, gold mine thing or whatever uh, had a friend whose name was John Lister, who was a Scottish physicist Oh, living in California and said, you got to come up here. No, no, no. He was Scottish. Oh, you uh, no. The guy's like, you got to oh, come up here. He's hey, like, you got to come up here. Whoa, what's up there? <laughs> 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 I got to get this so in Scotland. <laughs> Hey, well, you gotta come up here. Well, what do I have to go up there? There's the really weird vortex thing that's happening with our gravity up there. Vortex, you see? <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> I don't know. I'm great. not. I'm not thinking very Scottish. That was very good, Haggis. <laughs> Your name's Haggis. Haggis. <laughs> um. So the guy went up there and immediately was doing tests. Mm -hmm. So he's a physicist and an engineer, and he's like, "Yo, this is crazy stuff." And so he bought bought it from his buddy, and he's he owned it basically until he died. The mountain, this part the of the part mountain. Of it? Okay, and he deemed it, called it the organ vortex. And for forty years, he would was doing tests to try to figure out the science of what was happening. Yeah. So some of the stuff that happens, right? Balls like water balls, whatever rolls, yeah. goes uphill. <gasps> no, it does not. Yes, it You're does. You're making that up. I'm not. There's videos of it. And you can go, we should go to the place and test it out. I'm hey. going to go Oregon. But listen, Ortigan. there's like this. Oregon. He like built this house that's slanted like this. Like the floor is like at whatever degree, like a 25 degree yeah. angle. And when you stand on it, you can just stand straight. But you're you're this way, yeah, because the gravity is just all out of whack. What? And they even tested; they took a broom, put it on this slanted floor like that, and it's just standing, oh. like it's not falling over. Yeah, interesting. And there's this, there's like they show like there's like a wooden plank, right? Uh -huh. And they put a, a leveler or a level on the plank and show that this plank is level. You're standing on level ground. Weird, weird. And there's two people standing on it. Say this person's taller. Mm -hmm. When they switch sides, now this person is taller. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's so strange to me. But listen, 
he wrote down all this documentation of like, and like he said that he was coming up with inventions of like, he like invented something to where he could flip it on and it would turn off the vortex oh my gosh. to where like you turn it on and like you would like shrink and you'd flip it back on. And he said within 10 seconds you would grow back. And it's just weird stuff. Goodness gracious. This sounds like an amusement bit, like amusement park. <laughs> yeah, but he it, he was corresponding with like Einstein and like all this stuff. Golly. Oh, this is where it gets weird. Okay. When before he died, he burnt the 40 years of research that he did. He burnt all Why would the papers. You do that? Because his quote was the world isn't ready for <gasps> what goes on here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Like my heart can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take it. Is that wild? That is so weird. Why would he burn it? Uh, I don't know. Hey, I'm ready for the info, guy. So it said he conducted over 14,000 experiments and then burned it all. Because he's like, nope, that, this will, everyone's not ready for this. So people can go up there now? Yeah, it's open. Jeez and Louise. people try to disprove it, but no one can disprove it. Which there's probably someone watching like, yeah, they can. <laughs> I just they saw, literally did. We're I just watched a documentary. Thousand comments. Yeah, it's like, tell me how you can disprove it, please, because I don't know. Research. <laughs> well, it's I like, just watched one documentary. It's like gravity on the equator. Have you guys seen that TikTok? Like people walking on the line painted on the equator. Everybody falls the same way off of the line. It's like, and the the whole point of the video was like, we have an understanding of gravity and an understanding of these things, but only kind of. So like there has to be a way to mess with that. There's some, it's something weird. That's strange. Yeah. Josh was telling me like this terrible story last night, which oh, he told me a little bit. This could be a bit. whole podcast. I've talked about it before. <laughs> yeah. but which that, I don't think we understood. We weren't, if you look at I the podcast. I explained it we, so bad. We weren't paying attention. Also, you guys either. are like this. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm paying attention. No, no, no. no, no. I'm saying oh, during the podcast because oh, you, you guys about. just oh, yeah. totally checked out. Because I wasn't explaining it good or well. And we weren't paying attention at yeah. all. He and I'm like, I'm like doing this and you guys are like, I'm usually I'm like, not. I'm usually three topics back, still researching a point I was trying to make. But he was talking about the pole switching in the Adam and Eve project or the Adam and or Eve whatever. theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the pole switching, what an implication that we weren't understanding that he explained to me last night was if the pole switch, it's going to get, Florida's going to get cold. <laughs> that better not happen. <laughs> well, the theory is, the Adam and Eve theory is that the... Every whatever it is, ten thousand plus years, the the Earth's course stops. Yeah, which I talked about this. The momentum of the Earth, the Earth is spinning a thousand miles an hour. Talked about all this. Yeah. If it stopped, they said it's like driving a car a thousand miles an hour, and you just stop. Which what means, would that do? What me, would that do? Let me explain <laughs> it this time. Okay, but w what if I jumped at the right time? <laughs> <laughs> like the elevator. Would that, would that change anything? You would live. But also, <laughs> the oceans are spinning. Everything's spinning. Also, as a result, the ocean's going to freak out. And oh, yeah. there's going to be a wave that's going to come and get everybody. California is not going to exist. That Obviously, would be, Florida would not that'd exist. That'd be like a 50,000 foot wave. They, they that said would it would be, be a two mile high wave. <laughs> <It'd> be, <laughs> Be dumb. Crazy, yeah. but then our bodies are going to freak out because we've been spinning this whole time, and now yeah. we're not spinning. And S Josh is saying some people will live. I don't know who those people well, are. Well, they're saying they said this has happened. One person said this has happened four to six times, and so Adam and Eve yeah. would have been the beginning of it right after it happened. Okay. So basically, and you're always starting back at the dark ages. Jeez. And which I don't believe it, right? But it's. It's crazy to think yeah, about. We should weird. get I, in the loincloth business now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's get a jump start on it. Let's start making a bunch of uh, stone tools. <laughs> and stones for stoning people. Because we're going to, that's going to be it. It's going to be a total yeah. reset. Yeah. History repeats itself. Yeah. Listen, <gasps> you don't want to throw out your arm when you, you know, your cousin does you wrong. Come on. The Which, term history repeats itself. Yeah. <gasps> Literally. <laughs> But they're, <laughs> but they're saying if it Earth did stop, yeah. all the continents would just like shift all around. Dude. And so they're saying the poles, like Antarctica and the Arctic, yeah. they would now be on the equator, and everything on the equator would now go to the poles. Jeez. And why this is like further proof is they've seen that Antarctica at one point was a jungle. Yeah. Did you know that? No. What? Yeah. yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Oh, listen, that's crazy. They because they've recently done drilling down into the ice. Yeah, and this giant core of ice that they've pulled up, they found organic material 
the same that you would find in the Amazon rainforest. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> they just find like a tiny umbrella for like a drink. <laughs> <laughs> With a coconut. A no. <laughs> um, That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm going to look into that. That's nuts. So they're saying at one point was the Antarctic yeah. not covered fully in ice, but it was in fact a warm climate jungle. So my theory is you said some people are going to survive. I don't know who those people are, but if they are, they're probably kind of the Walmart the people. <laughs> this is where I'm going. It's going to be like Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> Because of the way the the air the area where it's located oh, it's like in the, the U.S. the safest, very central. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're smart people. <laughs> smart people. You did come from there. I did, and I am smart. You are smart. Uh, thank you. You are a smart Joplin man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you say that? It's just like, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate kid. that. <laughs> Is Andy Whittley doing <laughs> Whitty and Joplin right now? <laughs> I, I love that trend so much. <laughs> Oh, um, what about what's this uh, movie situation? Oh. Yeah, so this is our final, final, final call to action, final bitch. Next week, I want each and every one of you oh. to come with a list of your top ten favorite movies of all time. That is the most difficult thing in the world. You have to do it. Wow. Okay. Top ten movies, and we're going to discuss them. Any genre. And we'll, and we'll let. <laughs> Air and we will make one. <laughs> Air Bud two. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make Air have, Bud goes to Paris. Can we make fun <laughs> of each other's? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. It's all. It's open forum. Yeah. But here's my challenge. I'm issuing. Oh. We also have to do a homework piece. So you have to come back and say next week, I'm going to say like, Andy, you watch this movie. Oh, maybe each person picks one uh, movie for movie the they other haven't person seen. to watch. Yeah. That you haven't watched. Or you have to choose. Yeah. Everyone looks at their each other's list and you have to choose which one you want. Okay. And so everyone has four movies, to, three movies to watch. As a homework. That's okay. cool. Yeah. Hey, and everyone who's listening on episode 30. That's a, that, that'll be episode the next, 30. Next yeah. one, yeah. So episode 30, comment your top 10. Yeah. yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, fun. And be, yeah. you guys debate each other in the comments. Yeah. Tear them apart. I'm not going to say what mine is now, but I looked up my favorite movie because I was wondering where the cast is, and it's a dream of mine to have them on the show because oh. some of them aren't doing much of anything <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Is it the Rugrats? Nope. Oh. <laughs> is it Tommy Pickles? <laughs> Oh, sorry for going so dark, everyone. That was fun. That was okay. We have to we have to be able to know these kind of things and make laugh. Hey, look, there's some positive stuff right there. Look at that, Jane. Look at those chubby cheeks. Let's do let's do one lighthearted story before we go. Okay. Because Lily said I should talk about this. Let's hear it. Um, I got a concussion when I was in California. Yeah. And it Ow. happened. Uh, I was in a parking garage, and there was no stairs in the parking garage. And so the levels, you know, like do that. And so I was climbing up on a concrete pillar and I was going to jump onto the next one, not knowing that there's oh, a concrete pillar right no. above my head. Oh, Smash my head. Bonk. Ouch. And like instantly stars. Yeah. And I'm like instantly, I was like, yeah, this has to be a concussion. I didn't realize it because I had a concussion. Yeah. Didn't you puke too? Uh, I did. <laughs> Oof. Um, but then my buddy drove me home and I went and immediately went to sleep which you're not supposed to do, I think. Um, I woke up like six hours later, still really confused. But another buddy who was bringing me to uh, our, friend, our friend's house to have dinner. Mm -hmm. And we were there and this girl asked me, she's like, what should we do for dessert? And my brain was just so confused and not working that I just started crying. <laughs> but she presented you only two options. Oh yeah, it was like cookies or brownies. And I'm, I, I'm like, it was too hard. I'm like, oh, and I just started crying. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, can you sound good for some brownies? I'm so confused right now. And then my buddy's like, hey, let's take you to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and they took me like, you got a concussion. Yeah. That's so funny. So did they finish the know. cookies? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. But you've had a couple, right? Yep. Had a boy. Me too. That's why. I... Yep. Where are you guys getting these from? Um, that in sports. I fell down the stairs when I was a kid. Um, and then yeah, sports. A lot of sports. Yeah. My, my brother, I think, holds the record in yeah. this office for the most concussions. I mean, Probably in have? the state of Florida. Probably <laughs> in a football game, he had three consecutive concussions, major concussions in one game, and the poor guy couldn't remember anything for a while. It's okay, but he's good now. Yes. He only drools a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. 
It's only missing one tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with concussion. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's great. It just took a long time for his brain to heal. Hey, same. Same. <laughs> Are, aren't just all for our brains reasons. healing? Exactly. Aren't we still healing? For different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I think technically we're decomposing. That's. I think I'm still good. We're supposed we'll to end on a high note. At least he's on brand for the well, episode. So now, <laughs> now that true. now that I'm already dark, I found proof for your whole Antarctica jungle theory. Uh-oh. They yeah. found pyramids under the ice, and the Brazilian pyramids are older than the Egyptian pyramids. So if that information and technology existed in Antarctica, then moved to the next inhabitable yes. climate, Brazil, yes, and is now moved to Egypt. Yeah. So all we got to do is keep jumping. <laughs> <laughs> we never know. We never know. Why are you doing that? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah, that was going to be, I was going to talk about it on another podcast, but yeah, they that I think they nuts. found pyramids in Antarctica. Yeah, they found like seashells like on like Mount Everest, like on like on the way up or something like that. Like when, and like, uh, did you hear Sandy was selling the seashells by the seashore? Get what? out. Are yeah. you kidding me? She was. Wow. I didn't know she moved back there. She did. Sandy, Interesting. Sandy moved back to Antarctica to sell seashells by the seashore. That's great for her because you know what happened. Mm. You know, the yeah. stuff that she went through, it's, that's good for her. That she's back, you know, business, girl boss, boss babe. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Slaying it. Okay, that's it. We love you guys. Pyramid schemes. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Dark. <laughs> this was dark. Darkness. Let's watch some Blue's Clues. <laughs> Ninjas. Ah, bunch of The butterfly is no doubt.